Now, another controversy in the classroom in Florida, this time over an African-American studies class being proposed. ABC News explains why state officials are saying not so fast. This morning, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' administration is blocking an AP African-American Studies high school course, saying the class would violate state law. I don't know what the basis of this thought is. It's downright painful to people of color. This new college-level pilot course takes students from pre-colonial Africa to modern protest movements. In a letter to the College Board, which oversees AP courses, Florida's Department of Education rejected approval of the course, saying it's inexplicably contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value, adding that if the course comes into compliance and incorporates historically accurate content, Florida Department of Education will always be willing to reopen the discussion. The rejection follows the governor's effort to limit discussion of race in school. Last year, DeSantis signed the Stop Woke Act, restricting race-based conversation and analysis in the business and education sectors. He's made other headline-making education moves as well. We say gay. We say gay. Signing the bill critics refer to as the Don't Say Gay Law. We will make sure that parents can send their kids to school to get an education, not in indoctrination. But one state senator is raising questions about the AP course rejection, tweeting this list of all the other ethnic AP courses he says are offered in Florida and saying it's crazy how AP African American studies made the chopping block in Florida. This course is already being taught in more than 60 schools across the country, with many more planned next school year. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.